Today, a number of students walked out of their schools to protest a controversial proposal by Governor Glenn Youngkin. The draft by the Department of Education proposes changes to school policies regarding transgender students. It says teachers cannot hide a child's gender orientation from their parents. The proposal also requires all students to use the bathroom and locker room of their biological sex. If approved, the policy could go into effect as early as October 27th. Today, students across the Commonwealth protested. Anne Sparacco caught the moment some Virginia Beach students walked out. She's live tonight. So, Anne, what did you see today? Well, Dave and Nicole, we saw groups of students like the ones here at First Colonial High School in Virginia Beach walk out with their hands clasped together in solidarity. It's a movement and an effort we're seeing in all different parts of the Commonwealth. It's a wave felt across the entire state of Virginia. Students walking out to spread the message of protecting transgender youth in schools. That includes several schools in Hampton Roads where students walked out holding hands in solidarity. The movement highlights the protests against Governor Glenn Youngkin's transgender policy changes. Youth are engaged in advocacy more now than ever before. Stacy Walls with the Hampton Roads LGBT Life Center says mistreatment of transgender students could be detrimental to their mental health. These are kids who are already at risk and have a much higher risk of attempting suicide and all the other things. And so I think it's important to remember that kids hear us. A spokesperson for the governor sent a statement saying parents should be a part of their children's lives. The statement went on to say while these students exercise their free speech, the policies state all schools should be free from bullying and harassment. However, Wall says there are still ways to create a safe environment for students without changing these policies. As parents learn how to support their trans youth, their trans children, um, if we know that they spend most of their time in schools, don't we want their schools to, to be supportive too? And of course, don't forget that 30 day public comment period with the Virginia Department of Education opened up just yesterday. Virginians have a few more weeks to make their voices heard on the latest policies. Live in Virginia Beach, I'm Ann Sparacco for 13 News Now. And while these policies are set forth by the governor, school board members can still vote on whether or not to adopt them.